Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Saving Special Nista. She is I and I am her. Hey you guys, I want to first thank you for all your well and get well wishes. I greatly appreciate you guys. I am better. I went to see my doctor on yesterday. He gave me a steroid times antibiotic um, injection. And he also gave me some cough syrup and some antibiotics to continue to take. I tested negative for the flu and corona. However, I do have a severe sinus infection, which is always the issue normally. But I still like to check because I have or I had been exposed to the flu. I knew about four people that had the flu. So here we are. Um, I've been doing everything I need to do. I've really been staying in house. Um, I did go out today for just a few minutes and I noticed that my voice changed all over again from being in the house. But in the house, I have a lot of things working for me. I have the air purifier going as well as my humidifier. So that does cleanse and clear the air inside. But once you get outside into the elements, it does change. I wanted to get this video out earlier, but when I ran and did my errands, my voice was trying to peak off a little bit, so I got me some good tea, and here I am, and I want to provide this video for you guys. So I miss you guys, and thank you so much for returning. So I wanted to come and do a this or that, and this this or that is really on body care, and um, I've been planning to do this this or that for several weeks. I just never got around to it. So once I found out that they were going to be releasing another um, mocha-like fragrance, I said, well, I'll just wait until the new fragrance come out and um, do it and add the other fragrance in. So I have three fragrances here, you guys. And I don't believe that this just happened to me just moments before me pressing record that I discovered this. So I'm going to say this, read your labels if you can before you go in store and spend your money. So we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. So the first fragrance that we want to talk about is the vanilla mocha cream. This is like the um, fragrance that I'm going to be comparing to the other two fragrances that I have. And I'm going to show you this one first is because I bought it first. This came out, I want to say at the top of spring last year. I'm not really sure, but you know, there were two others. I think it was, it's a cozy Sunday morning and or cozy morning. And it's also a rose latte. So this came out and my light is kind of fading it out. But this is the Vanilla Mocha Cream. The Vanilla Mocha Cream is a repackage. Um, I have seen other people post this. And I think it came out with that chalkboard-like bait collection. And I think Strawberry Pound Cake was a part of it. Because I actually have the Strawberry Pound Cake. No, I don't. I don't have that one. But this um, has the fragrance notes of Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. Okay, so as I was playing with this one and the other one that I'm going to share with you, I noticed that this is a much lighter fragrance than the other one, and it gives off more of like a smooth, creamy, with a little hint of floral airiness, which is probably coming from the Vanilla Orchid, and it's a really good fragrance, you guys. I think that this is a very good fragrance to pair with any vanilla fragrance as well as pair with any creamy coffee like gourmand. I also think that this is a good refresher for a boozy gourmand or a boozy vanilla fragrance. I think that this is a perfect pairing for that type of fragrance as well. So when I purchased this fragrance, I did get all three and I think that the body... Um, wash is in the empties bag, I think, because I just recently used it up. So I did get the um, the whole set. I got the body wash, the cream, and the spray. And this cream, it is one of those creams that come in more of a like yellow-like texture. 
And if you have not checked out, I think I did do a full dedicated review. I'll link it up top in the card if you want to get more detailed information on it. But like I said, this is a very nice, you definitely get the cappuccino mixed in with the tonka bean and the vanilla. This is a perfect fragrance to go with a vanilla fragrance or a creamy boozy type fragrance. Perfect. All right. So that's the this. All right, so here is the that. All right, so I think this may be a new fan favorite. This was just recently released in the last release prior to the Christmas release. This is the Midnight Amber Glow. The fragrance notes in the Midnight Amber Glow are Smooth Amber Caramel Latte and Vanilla Yes, Burp. that was in the empties bag, so this is the body wash that I had to go with that set. All right, so the next one, um, the Midnight Amber Glow, I've had this in, excuse me, I've had this in three formulations. This is my second um, body scrub that I've had in this, and let me show you the dent that I put in this glotion. And you know, people don't really make it through glotions as fast because the sparkly glitter-like um, content in here it is very very sparkly but I love glotions so much so to I don't even mind that it kind of like seeps through my clothes that does not bother me at all so maybe I'm just extra but um I have it in the cream the spray the glotion the spray and the creamy body scrub you guys this fragrance is a gourmand's lover it is so good. If you are a gourmand, boozy, vanilla, amber, caramel, I mean, this just embodies so many different fragrance notes in my opinion. So here are the fragrance notes. Smooth amber, caramel latte, vanilla bourbon. This right here is a one-stop shop. Just as the vanilla mocha cream this also can go with a very wide or extended array of fragrances. You can wear it with your caramel fragrances. You can wear it with your amber fragrances. You can wear it with your vanilla fragrances. You can wear it with your coffee fragrances. You can wear it with your boozy fragrances. This is so good, you guys. Oh, this is so good. This fragrance is so good, Teal. This is one of those fragrances that Bath & Body Works put out here and again you know, here and there, that you can really enjoy on its own. I'm not a person who just wear Bath & Body Works. These are really my layering products because I'm over the top. When I smell my fragrances, I just want them to project. But this is a fragrance that if you layer it and apply it correctly, you can wear this as your fragrance for that day. This is so good, you guys. So... You probably can tell just from my response and how I explain them, which one I prefer. And it's that, it's that, the that. So this is one that I prefer. This right here is not even in stores, but catch. It really is in stores, you guys. And this is what I just noticed. This just came out on Wednesday or when was it? Monday. It came out on Monday. I picked this up on Monday. It is in stores. Different name, but exactly the same fragrance notes. This is the Vanilla Mocha Martini. This is the Vanilla Mocha Cream. Fragrance notes. Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, White Tonka Bean. Let's look at it. I hope you can see that exactly the same you guys so if you are intrigued by this just go in store and pick up this okay I just noticed that had I noticed that I would have not even bought this but I have my receipt and I'm gonna exchange it now I don't know how they're going to act by me exchanging this because it was a free gift if they give me 
a fuss about it. It doesn't matter. I'll just keep it because this is the reason why I did get the lotion. And I kind of like knew something was similar to it because I was like, I'm not going to get the cream. It was two reasons I didn't get the cream because it was $17.50, so my reward wouldn't pay for it. And also, it's going to last longer than the actual cream. And I already have the cream to the vanilla mocha cream. So I ended up picking up this. I'll probably just keep it. But I'm taking this back and I'm going to get my $17. And what I'm going to do is exchange it for one of these. I'll just exchange it because this was $17.50 also. So I have my receipt. I'll do um, an even exchange and we'll just go from there. So those are my thoughts on the vanilla mocha cream versus the midnight amber glow this or that and it is definitely that this is just more of a fragrance that gives you that mm, every note that i named in here you pick that i pick that fragrance up i get the amber i get the caramel with the coffee latte note and i get the vanilla bourbon the vanilla boozy fragrance this right here you want to get your hands on this if you are a coffee gourmand vanilla creamy type of girl this is a very good fragrance to layer with your gourmand coffee boozy fragrance i have quite a few fragrances in my collection that i have already began to pair this with and it just works so well so leave any comment leave comments below of what you think about the two and don't forget if you're looking for this or if you felt like you missed out on this, it is now in store. The name is Vanilla Mocha Martini instead of the Vanilla Mocha Cream. It's the exact same thing, you guys. So thank you so very much. Thank you again, Nisas and Nisos, for the well wishes. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And don't forget, always, you, yes, you, you are great.